Welcome back, my computer duders. As you can see, we have achieved cow technology. I started out in the Stone Age, and now I'm all the way to the cow age. Cow and chicken. And chicken. See this shit? Your eyes do not deceive you. There's a ghast right outside, and yet we're safe in here in this nice lush little garden with three trees. One, two, three. And all this nice grass, and all these nice flowers. And Mr. Cow over here, or Mrs. Cow, I don't... Well, not Mrs. Cows can't get married yet, except like in the state of California, I think. But this is, this is progress, isn't it? Now, how did they get here? They come through the nether portal. This, the creatures I want to come through the nether portal never come through. Like, I had a, a parrot at one point. And the, the creatures I don't want to come through are the ones who always make it somehow. Video game animals don't obey me. They don't obey me. I don't blame them. I should repair my fucking pickaxe. Jesus. And I should go get some dirt. I'm gonna make this a terraforming episode. We're gonna go get, go get some fucking dirt. And maybe... Maybe I will use... Um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, maybe I will use some of that grass to speed things up a little bit. Isn't this where the path is? Where's the path? It's dark and there aren't as many torches as there normally are. Where the fuck is the path? This is not cool. This is not... Somebody's been through here. The portal's reactivated. Here it is. That's curious. I wonder if they have a better nether base than I do. This demands experimentation. Uh-oh, spider bro. Whoa! And now here's a pig. Pig, you're gonna go back. Come on. Come on, pig. This is your home now. You chose this life. You chose it. You chose it. Come in here. That's right. Now you live in hell, motherfucker. And that's how it goes. That's how it works. Farming in hell 101. Anyway, that one goes... If that one goes directly back... How come... Wait a minute. That one connects directly to, to the nether base. But it has all the shit next to it. Where's the other portal that there used to be, too? There used to be another portal. Is it over here? I'm so confused. If I can't trust my memories, then I can't even trust my own sexy balls. That's how the saying goes, I think, that I just made up. My balls aren't sexy, don't fall for that. They look like one of those expensive hairless cats. It's, it's a horror show, you don't... You want none of that, trust me. I want none of that. And away we go! I wonder if I could drag those guys into the nether. If I build a larger tree dome, then I can dedicate the old tree dome to farming. I can just keep farm animals in there. I, I would rather have them be on the ground floor for ease of transport than having to somehow get livestock up a spiral staircase. That's that's not going to be fun. Yeah, I'll make the ground floor will be livestock as, as soon as I have someplace bigger and better to grow trees. That raises its own fucking series of questions, though. Like, uh, how tall can I make the each floor of the tree growing area before ghasts begin to spawn inside. These are the questions that need to be answered before we undertake something like that.
God, I love VR so much. I'm so... You know how gay for VR I am? You can't even see. The field of view is not big enough to... This, this gay. Hard, hard oh gay, this. That guy. That guy. If you've ever seen those videos from back before viral video was even a, a phrase anybody used. This does not seem right. Hold on. That was not what I intended to do. I forget the, what the buttons do sometimes. Where's the draw distance slider? That's the problem. Why was the VR render distance set all the way down? Not that it made that big of a difference. Let me make sure it stayed there. Better not fucking be rusing me. Are you rusing me? No, it's not. It stayed there. Good. Where's the moon pool? I need to move. I need to get inside. Probably I can. Probably there's better visibility underwater than above water right now. Here's all the fucking boats. This must be where it is. Yeah, there's better visibility underwater now. That's ain't that some shit. The correct answer is yes, that is some shit. 1.12 1 micronewtons of shit, if that's even a unit of volume or weight, which I'm pretty sure it's not. I think that's energy. Why does the rain fog apply down here? We're not even connected to the surface atmosphere. Oh, it's going to bother me. But you know what? Fuck you, rain, and fuck you, nighttime. I have my own world with blackjack and hookers. And it can, it's not rainy down here because I don't want it to be. Well, it's a little bit rainy because it's dripping water. I guess, I guess I can't stop that. But it's bright and it's safe and it's whatever I want it to be. Because I, I created it. I'm, I'm God here. A vengeful petty God who abducts surface worlders and, and forces them. Where... How'd they get out? There's no, there's the same number of people. Okay, there. That's good. I mean, not that they would want to get out. They, you know, they come to me all the time and they, they thank me. They thank me for giving them an, an opportunity to start a new life in this land of opportunity. Is specifically what they call it. What do you think about that? Does that make your boner tingle? It should. If it doesn't, then contact your doctor, and, and if symptoms persist, then you may want to stop using Zoloft. Uh, that fog is not right. The fog should, should only apply on the surface. Because the underwater fog doesn't apply inside of these structures, so I don't see why they couldn't use that same algorithm or whatever the fuck it is to make it so that the rain fog doesn't apply inside of here either. I'm sure that's not a priority. I'm sure they have... I want to say that, but then it's been like six years since they promised ocean content. What did we get? We got ocean monuments and squid. We got, we, we got ocean monuments, monuments and, and fucking squid is what we got. Let's be real. That's that's on us. We're, we're the fools. Need 17 EXP in order to enchant to repair that. I have eight. Well, shit, I guess I'm going to gather some dirt, and then I'm going to go grind. I'm going to go grind for quartz in the nether. And I think I'm going to go grind for dirt on land today, because it, the sun just came up. I should go get my boat again. No, wait, didn't I bring my boat with me? Yes, I did. I am smart. SMRT. You can keep staring out there all you want. Where'd the sub go? Oh, it's a draw distance. But you, you, this is your home now. You, you gotta integrate and le learn to speak the language. I don't want to hear any more hmm from you. Habla inglés? Habla inglés? We'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Uh, they look like fireflies. It's pretty. It's pretty underwater now. Because of the, the, they changed the particle contrast. I can just hang out down here because I have a resp 
Operation uh, Three Helmet. Let me see how. Oh shit, that's not in good repair. I for I forgot. And what's worse is I need a lot more diamonds to repair that than you would expect. Wow, I'm shit. I'm far underwater. I normally can't see. Oh, that's why. It's still raining. I didn't even know. There's my little Catholic friend. Trapped in a world he, he cannot understand. Although probably he could, because... You know, a lot of Christians these days believe in a flat, disc-shaped earth covered in a dome with waters above it. And that's basically where he lives now. So maybe I put him into a world that is more comforting and familiar to his, his knowledge level than the one that he left. Although the world of Minecraft is, is flat anyway. And it, it's a created world. So either way, he's probably fine. It's kind of being, cool being able to see in so clearly. I still want glass to render though. It doesn't look right. It looks like it should be flooding. Oh no, fuck you. I'm not, e I'm not even going to spare a golden apple. If I had a golden apple, why would I use it on a zombie villager? There's those two gay lovers on their boat ride. Their eternal boat ride, which never seems to conclude. That's okay, though. Under the sea. Under the sea. Down here it's better. Gay marriage is legal. I don't know what else. Fuck. Can I just... I'm just gonna jack some dirt. I don't care how ugly it looks. It has never been my problem how ugly the land looks. Because the land can suck a fat one. If it's not underwater, it doesn't matter. Reminds me of the time that TSA did a cavity search on me. That's a really gross, Skeletor. They let me record it on my smartphone. Do you want to see? I, I really don't. There, there's very little I want in life right now. More than not to see that. Although, you know, he's a skeleton, so... The question arises, how does that even happen? I get backed up, man! It's all the P.F. Changs I eat! I didn't know there was a P.F. Changs in Eternia. Oh, they're fucking everywhere now, dude! There's a Panda Express, there's a P.F. Changs, there's a Chipotle. Even Eternia is getting gentrified. Fucking white people. Fucking improving shit. Until people can't afford to live there anymore. Because improvement is bad now. That's probably my most controversial opinion that would lose me the most friends living where I do. Is that gentrification is, is a word we invented to make improvements sound bad for the sake of people who cannot also improve enough to afford living in the improved conditions. We basically get left behind because they suck. But then again, there there's some there's a degree of gentrification where it's obvious that they're charging way more than it's actually worth, and it's just some it's the same square footage as the apartments that were that were there before. It's not meaningfully nicer. They they do a couple gimmicky things different. They give it a fancy name. 
They do a little landscaping and suddenly it's $1,100 a month instead of $800. That, I'll agree, I'll go, you know, that's, that's fucky. Like, for a, little, a little bit fucky. They need to quit that bullshit. But when it, it's a neighborhood, like, they're gentrifying a historically significant neighborhood. Well, it looks like a war zone. It looks like a war zone. Shit's falling apart. Everything's covered in mold and there's trash everywhere. Although there's a lot of good property in, in Detroit now. Detroit is being fixed up. Because hipsters moved in and started to gentrify it. You see, you see my fucking point. Gentrification is not always bad. It's only it is sometimes bad. There's circumstances where it's bad. That's the one forbidden answer. When you see people suffering and they're they're surrounded by squalor and they have not industrialized. And they have had thousands, millions of years to industrialize. The one thing you can't say without having a million angry white girls with neon blue hair on your ass immediately is, is that they should create some value. And that's how you get money. I don't think I'm being ignorant here because I have seen people in third world countries create value. I've seen them invent interesting looking cars and get investment capital. I've seen them build windmills out of junk. So that's an option. And if, if you know, wherever you are, do whatever you can with what you have where you are. And if you have a new idea, then it almost doesn't matter that you're starting out with less initial supplies because you have an idea that somebody hasn't done before. You just have to be able to have an idea that somebody hasn't already had. And if you can't do that, then the problem is not your circumstances necessarily. That's certainly part of it. It, it. it handicaps you. But there are also people who live in very blessed circumstances and they can't come up with an original idea to save their life. And, and those same people who get on your ass for saying people who live in squalid conditions should create value to make money and improve their lives will uh, suddenly turn around and agree with you 100% when you're talking about a privileged person and saying people who have all the starting benefits in the world but who can't come up with anything of value despite that don't deserve to live in such comfort and luxury suddenly they agree with you when you say that because you're talking about you know white kids living in Michigan who do nothing but masturbate and play Xbox and sm smoke weed all day. I'm totally on board with them about that. There are people who do not deserve... Rather, there are people other than them who could make better use of the fertile substrate for innovation that we have in this country. That kid who made the windmill, bring him to America. We need him. We we don't need another, you know, fat pig-nosed kid who does nothing but fucking buy fidget spinners. That's one of the things that outrages people about racism so much, and that is easy to agree with. That being white has no no inherent value. There are only people who believe that it does, and pre preferring that useless piece of shit white kid who doesn't create anything with his time and with all the, the benefits that he was born with to a kid from Uganda or something who has proven that he has the, the ability to inno innovate but just needs more resources is completely fucked. Those people need to be thrown out of the country. We should award citizenship based on... I want to say based on ability to create something new and interesting and, and create value, but even that's controversial. Because it sounds like the kinds of things that the usual suspects say when they want to, to 
you know, ethnically cleanse. But the thing is that it doesn't work out. If you actually, if you actually excluded and included people in America based on their ability to contribute something novel and valuable, a lot of those snaggletoothed hillbillies who want a free pass just because of the color of their skin would be the first ones on the boat out the fuck out of the country. And that's why they agitate so much. They agitate so much for a race-based system of human rights because they realize that's the only way that, that they could get uplifted automatically without having to actually do anything. Cletus doesn't want to have to invent shit. He wants to be like, hey, I look just like Elon Musk. We're the same color skin. We're genetically more proximate to each other. I want I want the benefits of the stuff he's inventing. Meanwhile, some Nigerian kid, one of the few who's not email scamming stupid white old people, is has invented a new kind of fucking car engine or something and he can't get money for it because he doesn't have a computer for fucking kickstarter it's, you know if there's computers there they're pay, pay by the fucking minute it's not exactly a conducive environment for a tech startup how do you enforce that though how do you be like invent something I've invented a lot of shit, actually. It's just none of it's useful. It's all frivolous crap. It's interesting and, and fun to look at, but it's, it, you know, it doesn't solve any real problem. So yeah, that's where appeals to emotion when it comes to charity fall flat, in my opinion. When when you're defending people who could help themselves, who could help themselves very easily if they had anything at all of value to contribute. I want to say human life is inherently valuable. It's just there's seven billion of it. You know, there's more than seven billion. We're we're gonna be like at eight billion by 2050. No, 10 billion by 2050. I, I think I said that. And that, that you know, the whole notion of value is based on scarcity, isn't it? If something's not scarce, then why is it valuable? There's a diff there's a wide variety of opinions on that though there's some people who think that human life is inherently valuable just because they're a human that's not a biased perspective at all wow cows and chickens would probably think that they're infinitely valuable too if they were intelligent enough to and people who say you know you can't just say create value because then you're creating a hierarchy of the value of human life based on intelligence it's like you do, you do the same thing. You eat animals that are less intelligent than you, and it's okay to do that because they're not as smart. So they, they, they don't appreciate their own suffering as much. I don't mean appreciate as in enjoy. I mean, they don't, they're not cognizant of it as much. Why does that not extend to humans? And then there are vegans who are like, well, I don't eat any animals. I'm like, why do you eat plants? And they're like, well, plants are not as aware of pain. They say, well, at first they say they're not aware of pain at all, but then you show them articles that show it's not true. They're like, well, they're not as aware. I'm like, yeah, because they don't have brains. They don't. They're not as smart. That's what it comes down to, no matter how you try to get away from it. I do think we. It's a good thing to help out. 
I also think it's a good thing to make it voluntary to help out so the people who want to can do that instead of everybody being forced to. Like, why should... Why should a guy like Barack Obama have to... I mean, now that he's not president anymore, why should the fuck should he have to pay taxes to support Trump supporters living in Arkansas who rely on food stamps? Why should he have to put food in their mouths? Why should he have to help people who hate him? That's a good thing to do. I mean, philosophically, you can make an argument that's a good thing to do, but you shouldn't be able to require everybody to live that way just because you think that's good and righteous and correct. People should not have to support the lives of others who hate them and who want them dead. What the fuck is the point of increasing job place diversity by affirmative action only for a, like a huge chunk of their paycheck to go to Billy Bob? You feel me? That money goes to some white dude anyway, and probably an especially not an progressive white dude. It's just a question of whether he works for it or not. Either make him work for it or don't require that his life be supported by people who don't like what he's about. I don't know if you've seen that. There's a meme I saw that shows that in fact most recipients of welfare in the country are white. That's to be expected considering we're still a majority white country. But that the, the fact remains at the end of the day that welfare is, is mostly going to support rural whites living in southern, southern states. So the same people who are against welfare because they have a false idea about who mostly benefits from it they're, they're shooting themselves in the foot. They're hurting themselves, which is... I want to say it's funny, but they have kids. It's like, I'm against welfare. I don't want some lazy immigrant living off of the food stamps that I need to feed my family. Often it's for the same reason, too. They're in a, in a bad situation. In a an area they can't afford to move away from where there's not a lot of opportunity and they don't appreciate that that's also the situation that a lot of the people they rail against are in which is why they move which is why they immigrate to a country where they can make more money they don't think it through they just think i got mine and and fuck anybody who else who wants to get to where i am and you can't say that in one breath and then curse people wealthier than you in the other because if you live in the United States, you're already in the 1% globally. Even the poor live like kings in the United States compared to in much of the rest of the world, like people in the same economic strata. That's not a popular observation either, but it's true. We are... We are rich. Even our even our middle cl our middle class is like royalty, and our poor live better than the middle class in developing countries. Yet these same people are like the one percent. The one percent should share everything, and I, I kind of feel them on that too, because there are people who are obscenely wealthy and use illegal means to tax dodge and stuff like that. So they're not wrong about that. But they, they don't appreciate the fact that they are the 1%. 
compared to almost everybody on, on the planet. They don't want to give this stuff to people living in, in those countries. And they act like you're just saying some irrelevant thing to distract from the real issue when you say that, but it's entirely valid to point that out. I don't know what it is with me. I always have to find where somebody is being shitty in their argument and being deceptive or overlooking something that's not convenient for their narrative and then rub their nose in it. I have to, compulsively. Even if... It's, it starts with wanting to see all sides of an issue. It starts with that. But then after I've seen all the sides, I usually see some, some imbalance somewhere where somebody is ignoring something that is true but not convenient for their their narrative. And even if I agree with that person on many things, I still have to equalize that imbalance. That is not a good way to win friends and influence people, let me tell you. I don't, I don't recommend it if you're look, just looking to get by in life. And almost everybody has something like that. Almost everybody has some element of their worldview that doesn't stack up and that they're ignoring. And they're ignoring. And boy, they when you bring it to their attention, they're not thankful. They're not thankful. They wrinkle their nose up like you fucking smeared dog shit on their face. And then they make make it out like you're the problem. They just don't they just don't want to hear it. They want you to go away and stop saying that shit. It's the emperor's new clothes, man. I gotta... Birds gotta, sw gotta swim. Well, some do. Penguins have to swim. They're birds. Fish gotta... There's flying fish. Okay, birds gotta, birds gotta swim. Fish gotta fly. I gotta point out the emperor's nudity to anybody who will listen all the time. Because the emperor is naked a lot. And people should know that the emperor is naked. Somebody has to do that, and they're going to have to take their lumps if that's what they decide to do with their life. So it may as well be me, because I've already fucking dug a hole for myself so deep I'll never get out of it. May as well just keep doing it so other people don't have to. It would be nice to get paid for it, but you know, can't all have what we, what we want. This is cool, it's like an infection. It's creeping outward creeping outward and it's spreading. Ooh, I have to go get the grass to spread in, in strategic locations so that it will save some time and not take a million billion years. That's the other thing. There's a bunch of different sides to this whole gender identity issue, which I've been wrestling with for a long time, because there's good arguments on both sides. Like on one, it should be your right to make up new words and to identify with them and say that this is who I feel I am. But where the line should be drawn is, is you shouldn't be able to require other people to, to use those words or lose their job. Because Christians can't do that. Christians can't require other people to, to humor their, their beliefs. How is it different for gender identity stuff? How is that even slightly different? And, you know, the, the trans viewers are like, well, because my thing's real. Well, they think their thing is real, too. Neither one of you actually has science on your side. And both of you have bullshit science articles that you point to and try to say that science is on your side. When it most certainly isn't. Like that Viking they found recently. They found a Viking warlord. And it was, to everybody's surprise, it was a woman. Well, how can you tell it's a woman? From just from the skeleton and from the DNA, if gender's not real, if, if sex isn't real. Uh, forensics is often a thorn in the side of these postmodernist goofballs. Uh, where, what the fuck was I doing? Oh, yeah. My brain does not work. It's a serious medical condition I should be alarmed about, but I'm just going to keep living my life and hope that everything's going to be just fine. And then, then I'm going to fucking grind. I said I would grind. And I do need to actually get off my ass and start grinding for courts. 
I'm just seeding grass here so it doesn't have to grow so agonizingly slowly. It'll grow from a bunch of different points at once. Right next to a torch. And then they'll meet, like intersecting mold colonies in a petri dish. <laughs> this is, I think, a good... This is a good way to spend grass, isn't it? I'm not wasting it. I don't think. I don't think I am. I really don't want to wait for that to reach here. I don't. Because I only make these videos... Like 30 minutes at a time. It will take a thousand years to fucking terraform the nether if I do it at that pace. Ooh, that's the way I like to live my life. And I think that everything's gonna be just fine. That's the nice thing about being self-employed. And not bullshit self-employed, but actually to where you make money at it, is that nobody can fire you, so you can voice your opinions. And if you publish under a pseudonym, nobody can take money out of your income just because they don't like your opinions. So I can say whatever the fuck I want and be as real as I want to, and I don't have to worry about some butt-flustered Tumblr mutant or a Christian or mu Muslims, man. They're getting numerous and they're getting, they're becoming an issue. A lot of people who try to leave the faith, who are from Muslim countries, who come here trying to escape it, find out the hard way that if they post about their disbelief on Facebook that other immigrants come find them and throw bricks through their window and shit. That's the kind of shit that these people don't want to talk about. We think that Islam is all sunshine and rainbows just because it's not Christianity. Don't get me wrong, Christianity is brain cancer, but Islam is literally the same thing but worse. So if you don't like Christianity but you do like Islam, there's a little problem in your worldview, in your, in your self-consistency, that I'm probably not the first person to tell you about either. I'm sure you don't like to hear it if you're one of those people. But it is what it is. The enemy of your enemy is not your friend. Not all the time. It's like thinking, oh, well, AIDS is really bad. And I wonder if, if I contract super AIDS, will it make my AIDS go away? No, it won't. Now you have AIDS and super AIDS. Congratulations, you dumb asshole. Turbo, turbo gonorrhea, a noisy killer. Remember when, nobody's old enough, nobody watching this is old enough, in the 80s and 90s, I, w I was just a bad then, still, but the moral majority and Jerry Falwell and people were saying the AIDS was a, a plague sent by God to punish homosexuals. But now we're getting close to fixing it, to curing it. If it's created by God, how can scientists cure it? What are they going to say when scientists fix it? And like, now we have the ability to defy God using science? Are we going to be like Mickey Mouse in that, that short animation where he can take the sorcerer's hat away and do magic with it? say no we can't fix something that well if we have the ability to then clearly it's not something that we're not intended to fix even by their logic it's like saying we shouldn't cure the, uh, infections we should let children well, some people do some people believe so so fucking hard 
they let their kids die of easily preventable contagions. But it's like, if we have the ability to cure that, then clearly it's not intended to be something that we, we just let kill people. If it was actually a judgment, we wouldn't be able to do anything about it. So even by their own reasoning, it's really just them seizing on stuff happening in the world and trying to use it to scare people they don't like into believing what they want them to and behaving how they think they should fucking behave. That, that was pretty good. That's productive. A lot of dirt got spread. I missed this spot. I'll need to come back and do some more next time. I think I'm going to call it quits pretty soon, though. I got up to 13 EXP. That's not shitty. That's not bad. I need a lot more. Um, I'm getting kind of tired. Uh, and I want to... I think I'm already over time, in fact. It happens to me a lot. In the bedroom? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's a lie. It's like Gogurt. Like, you touch it once and all the filling comes out. Or like a taco. You fucking look at that thing the wrong way and it explodes. And all the shit comes out. And it's over. And then there's a lot of crying and apologizing. What the fuck is Gogurt, by the way? Like, why are you teaching kids to suck the, cup, the filling out of a tube? And I, di I didn't get to talk about it last time, I forgot to, but tacos. Why am I angry about tacos? Because... Number one, besides the fact that you can't eat them without them spilling all the contents everywhere, that's an easily solved problem, if they cared. All you gotta do, and Taco Bell does this sometimes, I think they still have it on the menu, is just take a soft taco, tortilla, and then wrap it around the hard taco shell, and adhere one of them to the other one using either refried beans or some kind of, some of a sauce, like an adhesive, because then the, the soft tortilla binds all the pieces of the, the hard taco shell together when they fracture and they, they don't come apart it holds them together so you can eat it without the fact that the shell has fractured causing the taco to come apart it's so simple and elegant why has only taco bell figured this out there should not exist normal hard shell tacos that don't have this solution implemented i'm probably thinking too hard about tacos but damn it I, i'm passionate about this they even sell those stupid, dinky little plastic dinosaur taco holders to solve a problem that you just need to... You need to solve it with a soft tortilla, is what you need to do. The taco is incomplete without it, as we know it. The hard shell taco, which is an American abomination in the first place. Not everything America does is an improvement. If you can believe that. I need to eat. And then I think I'm going to make a quick trip back to the colony and see if I have enough to... No, actually, I need a shitload more EXP than this to repair my helmet, which has to take precedence, I think, over the pick. Although, if I fuck up my pick, then I'm pretty much up shit creek, because I can't even mine as effectively to, to get the EXP that I need to repair my fucking helmet. It's a quandary. It's a conundrum and a quandary is what it fucking is, my bros. It's a conundry. Quanundrum. A quanzanundrum. Yeah, 18 EXP. I think that's all I need to repair my pick, but then I'm going to be down to zero. And I can't afford 
for the, this helmet is so OP. Look at that. Aqua Affinity too. Protection and respiration. I can't afford for that to get broken. What happens if you put fire aspects on a helmet? Does your head catch on fire? Does it become immune to fire? If I hear a, an album and the album is fire, does it protect me from getting my mind blown by those fucking sick tracks? Probably. That seems scientifically all but guaranteed. Put this in here. Blah, 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 blah. There. And... And I have a bunch of this now, which I have no use for. I should start making quartz blocks. If I start to get reliant on quartz blocks, though, then I'll start to actually need them to construct shit. Which means I ha But then again, that's good for me. What's the downside? I would get a lot more EXP that way. Maybe I'll... It's too late to build everything out of that, because... I remember the last time I tried that... It just took so much time to find new deposits of quartz to build out of that it slowed everything down. Like, construction took forever. So I had to go find new quartz after I had stripped strip mined the entire area around the base itself. And it just got increasingly dangerous, which was fun, because it made... You know, danger makes things fun. Danger makes life fun. There's a fucking witch. What's the world coming to when you can't go for a nighttime stroll without some fucking witch? Uh, Flying around on her broomstick. Shooting spells at you and shit. It's like zap, motherfucker. I'm gonna abduct some of you later. You're going to hell with me. Not you spiders. You're fine where you are, drown. For all I care. Look at all these squid. Why are there so many squid here? I do not have my authorization. Motherfucker! That's right. Clear out. This is a no this is a no protest zone. It's just kind of a bullshit concept. What the fuck is the point of a protest if it occurs someplace that you have the, the approval of, of from the person that you're protesting or group? So yeah, the, I think the way to help developing countries is to find something they can do that's worth money to people in the developed world and to set up the infrastructure they need to, to, to do that. And that sounds harsh, but that's how you make a, a legit living. You can't sustain people. And you patronize them when you give them an allowance, basically, to survive. If you want them to, to live as dignified a life as possible, you have to give them something they can do that really is creates value to the people who can can pay money for it and, and be exploitative if you want to in the sense that you can sell stupid shit that hipsters would like at whole foods or like wet pier, pier one bed bath and beyond just have have people in like sudan or trinidad make the shit and then sell it and pass the profits on to them Instead of pocketing most of it. You just have to be better than... Ethically better than most employers in the U.S. That's all you gotta do. As if it's... As if that's easy. It's like the fucking one ring. Once you have it, you don't wanna... You're like, maybe I could rule... You know, Middle Earth. Maybe CGI Gollum has a point. Although it turns out... I, I watched the, the director's cut of Lord of the Rings. And you know that Gollum was played by Br Brianna Wu? No makeup or anything. Like, all that CGI stuff was just to throw people off. She didn't want to be credited. A bold choice to do most of the film topless, I have to admit. I think we're all better off for that performance. Okay, uh... Please tell me I have enough. I have enough to get up to 90%. 90, like, 9%. Look at how close that meter is. If I put another in there, it'll be... But that costs one more EXP. More importantly, it costs one more diamond. That's not worth it. I'm going to do that. And how much do I have left? I have one left. Fuck my life. 
I don't even have enough to repair my shovel. I have the diamonds I need, but I don't have the EXP. Fuck, I really need... What do I need to do? I need to go to the nether. Holy shit, I actually need my nether base for something. I need to go live in the nether and spend some time there just grinding and use my nether base the way I intended to use it from the start, which is to feed myself and to protect myself and process resources while I'm gathering nether, nether shit to increase my EXP so I can repair my helmet. Now I actually have direction and goal and all the shit that I've been working on building is going to immediately benefit me. This, this is... I'm okay with this. This is cool. Turn back. Fucking... Wizards. Stop fucking with me, wizards. Stay. No. No. Okay. Random objects. Inanimate objects, even in video games, sometimes bamboozle me. Anyway, that's all for this video. I'm going to end it where I started. Here's my cow friend. There's soon, soon going to be a... Oh, here's my pig friend as well. I forgot I even abducted you. I'm going to keep bringing more of your kind to the nether. The fuck do you mean my kind? I mean cows, come on. And, and bulls, I guess, are the brown ones. How come the bulls are all brown? Is that... I've, ne wait, I've never seen a bull with this coloration. I'm stupid. I just need to fucking Google image search that shit. That was like a five-minute question to research the answer to. Anyways, five seconds, more like it. That's all for this time. Stay tuned. Uh, in the next episode, I think I'm not going to focus so much on terraforming because I've already done a lot recently. I'm going to focus on grinding to get this number as high as I can and abducting animals from the overworld into the nether. And in the episode beyond that, I'm going to build more space for trees so that I can have more space overall for animals. That's, that's, my, that's my fucking plan. It never goes according to plan. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. Well said, Bane. Well said. You're a valuable addition to this team. Bitch, I am the team.